All right, what is up ladies and gentlemen? We got another GTI video today. Uh, just something super quick. I'm just kind of prepping the cars. I've got a couple of people actually coming to look at it because it is in fact time to get rid of the GTI and I'm actually in need of a truck in the next little while here. This build is gonna be coming to an end pretty soon. Uh, I know I recently just did the coilovers and the blast pipes and everything. All good things have to come to an end at some point. So we're gonna be doing the oil pan gasket today along with doing an oil change just as the oil pan gasket has had quite a bit of material come off from the little bit that we've worked on the car and it's actually starting to leak. So we're gonna pull the oil pan off today while we're doing the oil change and I'm just gonna show you guys how to replace it. It's super simple as it is just a liquid gasket. So without further ado, let's jump right under the car and pull the oil pan off. So obviously the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the skid plate off. Super simple, four T25 Torx bits. Two on this side, two on that side. And that guy should slide right back. Oh. All right, now obviously next what we're gonna do is we're gonna start draining the oil pan. So now we're just gonna let that drain 20 or 30 minutes to get all the drippy drips out and everything and then we'll pull the oil pan off. So with all the oil drain and everything, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start pulling all the bolts for the oil pan off. And you're also gonna have to pull the secondary air pump bracket off of here as well, which mounts to the front of the oil pan on a 24 valve VR6. I don't know if it's the same on a 12 valve, but I'm assuming it probably is. All right, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do once you have all of the oil pan bolts around the perimeter of the oil pan either loosened or out, is you're gonna need to crack three of the bell housing bolts. And there's gonna be one here, this is on the front of the engine. One here, this is on the very bottom, kind of like right here where the oil pan is. And then there's one up in the back that goes the other direction, that goes into the transmission from the engine side. That's like right up above this section of the oil pan right here. Uh, mine are already loosened and they're just kind of finger tight in there just to show you guys before I pull them out. So pull those out and then you should be prepared to drop the oil pan as long as you've removed the secondary air bracket, which I have. There's also this guy right here, the CV axle. I'm just gonna call it the, uh, the heat shield because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That also needs to come off the back of the transmission and that's just two 14 mil bolts. And there we go. Oil pan is off. So now would also be a good time to get under here and uh, inspect your oil pickup and that kind of thing for damage or any clogs. And then we're also gonna take a scraper and we're gonna clean off all of the, uh, the perimeter of the oil pan just so that we can get a nice good mount when we throw the new gasket in. I've already gone ahead and done all of the cleaning for the surface for the gasket. So I've already got my gasket maker here. This is a Permatex Ultra Synthetic, Synthetic? Synthetic oil pan gasket maker. Um, and the big thing with doing the oil pan gasket is you wanna make sure, especially with the bolt holes, that you go on the inside of the bolt holes, not the outside, because if you go on the outside, it'll just leak through the bolt holes. The thing with the VR6 oil pan is it has these little I'm gonna call them galleys for the gasket makers. So you have to make sure you get it in there as well when you're filling. And then other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I cleaned out the inside of the pan of any carbon and all that just to kind of give a little bit of a refresh to things. But without further ado, we're going to just make sure that's 100%. All right, and as per the Bentley manual, once we uh, get this pan in place, it's 15 foot-pounds per bolt. And once you get two bolts in to hold it in place, we're gonna be doing the star pattern for tightening. 
And then we're gonna also do the star pattern for torquing to spec. All right, so we got it all buttoned up now. We're gonna fire it up and back it out and check for some leaks.